Here's the situation. The company has provided a growth target for your region and a minimum sales amount per account for you to set quota. What you need is a way to develop an annual quota for each open account greater than or equal to the minimum where the total group hits the target. So sometime in January the company is going to tell you that you've got to be X percent higher on this new year, December 31st, than you were last year on December 31st. And let's say that increases 5%, so we can put that information right here. The first thing we need to do is develop a list of all the accounts that we handled for the year that just completed. Get their sales, add them together to get the base. Here's our base, $950,000. So we need to be 5% higher than $950,000 or $997,500. That's our target. The company also told us $2,500 is the minimum sales to not give an account a quota that can't even hit that in 12 months. So in step one what we need to do is clean this list. This list is our, a complete list of everything we had last year so it includes closed accounts and accounts that didn't reach the minimum. So we gotta get rid of those. We don't want to give them any quota. So the first column in here is a way for the sales rep to go through this list and just mark the ones that are closed by typing in the word close. Now if you have a sophisticated computer system maybe this can be automated for you but somehow you have to mark it because you don't want to give quota to a closed account. In this column right here I have scrubbed or cleaned the original for both situations. Let's look at this formula. It's an if then with an or in the middle. It's saying if this amount is less than the minimum or you typed in closed put in zero. If not put in the amount in column C. That's why 200,000 is in here because it's both above the minimum and I didn't type in close. Here I put in a zero because this is below the minimum. Down here this is above the minimum but I typed in closed so put in zero. And that's what I've done here. Then you add up all these numbers together to get this total. This total is $5,500 less than our base. We got to get back to the base. So this amount has to be sprinkled over the remaining accounts and the best way to do that is proportionately. So I gotta find the proportion each one of these accounts have to the total. So this is saying right here that 200,000 is 21% of 944,500, which also means that this account should get 21% of this $5,500 difference. That's what's happening right here. 21% times 5,500 plus 200,000 is this. Now it's adjusted. Add them all up. We're right back to our base. Now we can apply the 5% growth to our adjusted accounts. Let me slide over a little bit. So here we have hit our base, I mean our target. That's exactly what we were trying to do and we hit it to the penny. We're 5% higher than the group. Now if we were to look at this a little closer and actually see on an account by account basis what the change is, we're going to see it's a little bit higher than 5%. That's because not all the accounts are getting quota now. But if we drag this all the way down, we'll see the accounts that do get quota, they all got the same increase. That's equitable, that's fair, that's easy to explain and justify to your team because they're going to want to know how you did this. I like this. Anytime the company says it's a 5% increase, I just spread it out evenly. Let's talk about this 5% increase for a second company is going to come up to you and say it's based on market potential. Market potential simply means anything that can happen in the market that affects your business is already factored in. People will sometimes say, well, what if I pick up a new account? What if I lose an account? It's all factored in there. Okay, So you can pick up accounts, you can lose accounts. Current accounts can pick up steam, current accounts can lose steam. There could be government regulations that affect the way you to business, you could have new competition come in, you could have new competition exit, you could have a bad job market, a good job market, anything. It's market potential, it's all factored in there, 5%. That's why you should just apply it evenly to all the accounts you're giving quota to, I think. Now, if you pick up a new account, that's free money. The, the sales still count towards reaching your goal, which makes it even easier. If you lose an account, the quota should stay with that account even though it's closed. In theory, other accounts will absorb it. But that's going a little too far with the explanation. Bottom line is it's market potential. It's 5% on the total no matter what. Now, you can divvy this up however you see fit as long as you hit this target. 
and there will be some times when you do need to make manual adjustments. And I would resist doing this unless you had a really good reason. And uh, just wanting to grow a, a customer more than you did last year is not a really good reason. You'd have to have a really good reason why you would be able to do that. But here, for example, let's say we know that this account has closed some locations and they're just not physically as big as they used to be. That's a good reason. They're not going to hit this goal, which is based on their size from last year. So we're going to pin it, say, 200000 These two are for brand new accounts. They weren't here last year at all. So they have no sales history, but I think they can do 5000 each. That's why I put that there. That's also a good explanation. This one right here was here last year, below the minimum. This didn't give it a quota, but I happen to know the reason why this is below the minimum. This account was only here for three months. This is not 12 months worth of sales. So I'm going to make my adjustment for that over here because I think it can hit 5,000. Next column is the difference. This is the difference between what I want to pin it to and what this says it should have been. I do that all the way down. I add this all the way up and I get this difference that has to be absorbed now by the accounts that I didn't adjust over here. So I needed a column for the accounts that I didn't adjust. And I do that with this formula right here, which says basically if this is anything but zero, put in a zero. Or if it is a zero, come over here and grab this amount right here. Add these up all together. That gives you that amount. Now we have to use the proportion logic again for this. We need to find what proportion this is of that total, 10%. And in this final column right here, this final column is doing two things. It's first coming over to this manual adjustment and saying if there is a manual adjustment there, just use it. And if not, now we have to apply our proportion. We're going to take, in this example, 10% times this 3813, and we're going to subtract it off of this because we have to take it off now and come up with this new number. We do that all the way down, we add them all the way up, and we hit our bay or our target again and it's five percent growth now again I've done the math here to show you what it actually is from what they were last year and you can see the ones that were here last year that we didn't adjust they all got the same thing it's a little bit above five but some of them got a lot less like these got nothing some of them got a lot more like this one uh, some of them are flat like that one but as a group as a group 5%. That's what the company said. 5% higher than you were last year. I don't care how you do it. Basically what they're telling us. Let me show you how I did that. Here are the formulas that I use in this section right here. I use this formula in this section right here. Here are the remaining ones to show you. And that is a way to solve this need.